Hi, my name is Joanne, and today we're going to talk about how NMC backs up your life through your pregnancy journey. Let's talk antenatal and the benefits that NMC provides our members. Antenatal classes are actually there to assist you in preparing for the birth of your baby, for the delivery, as well as caring for your newborn baby after they've been born. These classes are also known as parent educational classes, and it is very important because it's going to help you through this process. NMC makes provision for six classes for all our options except Topaz and Topaz Plus. This means that you and your partner can go to antenatal classes where they're going to prepare you for the birth of your baby and also looking after your baby once he or she has been born. Whilst you are pregnant, it's important to see your doctor regularly so he can make sure that you are healthy and that you're ready for the birth. For this reason, NMC has six consultations for Topaz and Topaz Plus for you to go see your doctor when you are pregnant. And for all other options, there are 12 antenatal consultations available. Next, let's hear from Dr. Bettina and Dr. Klaus on what you can expect from your antenatal journey. So my name is Dr. Bettina Aguerre-Zalto. I'm a gynecologist from Austria and um, I'm running a clinic with my husband in Windhoek, Söderhof. My name is Dr. Klaus Zalto. I'm an Austrian gynecologist as well as my wife, obviously. We are running this clinic together and seeing patients from all over Namibia so far. The benefits of um, attending uh, pre uh, antenatal classes is that you get prepared and ready for labors, birth, breastfeeding and caring for newborns and it also helps a lot to support you with the health and the well-being. It's not only for the pregnant woman, also for the newborn and the parents. Um, it can help you to uh, meet professionals and to ask them questions, uh, tell them about your plans, your worries. Also nice, you can meet their other parents, maybe you can make friendships with them. It's nice for partners or uh, supportive people, um, what they can do during labor and birth. And all in all, it's a kind of uh, good information uh, that you are confident and with a higher confidence, you have a higher satisfaction rate for your birth. First of all, it's very important to tell um, the parents what is labor, what is a normal labor, what are the signs of a labor, when does it start, like the contractions, pain, water break, anything. So that's important that they know what is normal. And it's also important to know when should I call my midwife, the hospital, my doctor, what is not normal, if the contractions are too often, too long, bleeding and so on. Um, Important is to tell them the normal stages of labor, which are the latent phase when it starts, the first stage when you have regular contractions, and the second stage is then the birth of the baby, and the third stage, the delivery of the placenta. So all of these stages, and tell them what is normal, um, what is normal from the time range, what is um, in, in range, so that's very important and then to tell them how, you, how we could support them during these uh, different stages with breathing, pain relief, what things can we do, what can the partner do. Um, also, it's always important that they know sometimes um, it's, um, you need uh, instrumental delivery like a forceps or a vacuum aspiration and sometimes as a cesarean section. So it's just important that they know what can happen and that they are prepared. So it's the same information makes confident. And also important to know that the partner, what is his part. To be honest, antenatal classes actually started 30 to 32 weeks. So it's rather late to start thinking about healthy pregnancy, healthy ladies, healthy babies. I would rather sometimes tell them 
Go to your, see your dietitian, see a midwife, see a nurse, a health professional before you even get pregnant. We can offer quite a lot of um, nutritional support to actually make your pregnancy be of better outcome. I would always advise on antenatal classes even if it starts late because it's just like my wife said it is very important to be informed about what's going to happen to you. How should you act if you have never heard about it before? If there's when you're in labor, you're always in a different kind of mood. You are in kind of an uh, not controllable situation. So it, it's good to know when somebody says, oh, sorry, we can't follow up your birth plan. We have to deviate because there's some risk for you or your baby. So we can say, well, this is the case at the moment. That's what we we're going to do. Hopefully you will be happy with what we do that you consent to it because it's rather uh, important for baby and you to know, yes, now we have to just change the kind of uh, um, mode of delivery. Scientifically, it's proven that we know that patients who are informed well about what's gonna happen in labor need less pain relief, less epidural catheters to be put in on the basis of saying, yes, I can tell you, um, you will deliver according to your birth plan. We can't tell that in advance, but we know that first time parents are really happy of getting to know their professionals, like midwives and nurses, to discuss even the so-called unforeseen circumstances after birth where they come sometimes up with babies who might cry might have a feeding problem you have a press problem so they know the telephone numbers to even inform themselves immediately how can i cope with that situation it is rather frustrating if you can't get anybody on the phone if you've got a situation where you're not in labor not in the labor, not in the hospital, and you have to decide what should I do with my firstborn baby now. We do see physical and emotional changes in pregnant women actually within the first minutes and hours after they've conceived. So starting at the very time you go to an antenatal class and tell them now you have to behave like this or that might be rather late. If you have a pregnant lady, she will come to you and see you because of hyper-MS, nausea. She doesn't feel well because she's got stomach ache. These are all kinds of symptoms which we see already before 12 weeks time. Then you move on to pregnancy even at 15, 16 weeks, the, the womb gets rather large patient on moving has got ligament pain so you have to calm them down and tell them it's all normal the metabolic rate in the body starts or changes significantly at the, the age of 24 to 28 weeks where people start having an insulin resistance that's when we start actually um, checking their blood sugars which is a kind of oral glucose tolerance test at 30 to 32 weeks, the lower segment of the uterus will change and it will give you a lot of tension, sometimes even kind of so-called premature labor, which it is not and it, will, won't, it won't go into labor. But patients do feel a lot more uncomfortable. 90% women will double their blood or plasma volume of the body up to 100%. So they will start having edema, especially with their first pregnancy at 30 weeks. 36 weeks, women will start having stomach problems like sore, a kind of heartburn because the baby is so large it will just press onto your stomach. Whenever you eat, you will feel uncomfortable. When you don't eat, you will feel uncomfortable because you are hypoglycemic. So, just saying antenatal classes are the ones we want to um, bring people into won't help them really um, live accordingly. It needs to be, like I already mentioned, it needs to be a lot earlier to be um, mentioned and explained to the patient that there will be a lot of physical, physiological and emotional changes in the pregnancy. Actually, we can tell within um, hours after conceiving that the perfusion of the kidney will increase. So 
women will start immediately having a, a lot of more urine. They have to go to the toilet quite often. Their bowel will start being perfused a lot more, so they will have feelings of constipation, obstipation. They will, because the body starts already accumulating metabolites, vitamins, protein, glucose, so that the baby can grow accordingly in the mother's womb. So it's important, like my husband told us now, uh, the changes in your body that you exactly know what happens, is this normal? Um, also the health in pregnancy, but also after pregnancy, which means what should I take, what should I avoid, uh, vitamins, supplements, exercise, the mental health, uh, what is changing in my emotions, is this normal? Um, also different um, questions um, about the uh, baby movements, all these things are quite important to inform the uh, ladies. And as I mentioned before about what exactly, when does labor start, how is labor normally, how is the delivery, uh, how can I cope with the different stages like hypnosis, uh, pain relief, massages and so on. There are plenty of things which you should be informed. Um, also important that you are informed what happens if it's not normal, like I mentioned before, the um, instrumental delivery and sections. And um, what about how do I carry for my baby afterwards? How do I breastfeed? How do I bath? And all these questions. So um, that's, I think, the most important the topics. It's important that the um, woman knows um, after birth what is normal. So normal would be, for example, that you have, uh, if you urinate, it can be sore because you have abrasions, or if you have stitches that they can be swollen, that sometimes you are a bit constipated, um, that it takes a while that the milk is coming to uh, breast, which means um, in the beginning, the first days, it's called colostrum, that's the milk, but after three, four days, the breast really gets tender and then the milk starts to come. It's important to know that if you have emotional changes, like I said, if you're stressed or tearful, that's very, very normal for, let's say, one week, but if it continues and gets worse, that it's not normal. A lot of questions are also uh, if the, the bleeding, how long does it take, when does my normal menstruation start, what about contraception, what about sexual intercourse. So that's what really should be covered. And from the newborn side, it's also uh, important that the parents know there are things like, for example, um, that the umbilical cord is taking um, it dries out after one week and drop off, that it's normal, that you have fontanelles which you can feel that, that they will close after one year. Uh, it's normal that the genitals and breasts can be swollen and that there's a milk production as well. And they should uh, learn, why does my child cry? So there are, for example, if it's hungry, it can cry, if it has pain, uh, if it has cold, or uh, if it's too warm for them and uh, if the nappies are full. So that's more or less the reasons and it's very important to learn about the reaction of your child and to check everything um, and also check if there is um, an infection in the eye or in the nappy area, in your breast area and also to learn for the woman what is not normal if you have any signs of uh, thrombosis or uh, pulmonary embolism or infection on your wound or a bad smelling discharge. Yeah, so just to know about what can be and that then they can come to the professionals. Nowadays you've got a lot of um, YouTube videos about how to deal with your pregnancy, how to deal with your birth, but as general um, I always see patients who were in antenatal classes and always said, oh, I was really happy that I had a chance to talk to somebody beforehand, before this whole thing happened. Um, we know that, this is again scientifically proven, that the first 
being parent are the ones who really have a positive uh, impact from being or becoming parents through antenatal classes. Um, patients or parents who already had their second or third child seem to drop out. The more than two thirds are dropping out of antenatal classes. And these are the ones who sometimes you get a bit of a difficulty when they've suddenly start having a different kind of birth to convince them that there might be a problem. So in my view and my opinion over the years, I always advise people to start as early on as possible asking questions, even we are answering a lot of questions, but definitely see your antenatal class because you might be even introduced to the midwife who will be deliver you. You might be introduced to the hospital you want to deliver and then you know that the rooms you will be shown to a labor ward, you will even sometimes see a theater. Because sadly, nowadays, when there's a slight problem in, in, in delivering, um, we tend to be on the safe side and rather decide for cesareans or instrumental deliveries than wait and see what might happen to mother and baby. I find it interesting that uh, loads of people go to antenatal classes and I find it very important, but sometimes like this that people might be a bit put off because some people come back from hospital after the deliveries and then they say oh it was so bad and there the antenatal class is very important and the one whoever is doing the antenatal class to tell them no it's not like this this is just the not so often uh, happening case so yes it is important to have antenatal classes but you have to keep them for parents and friends who are antenatally and not postnatally because we don't want them to be pushed off, turned off from normal deliveries, from deliveries, because having a baby, having a natural birth, it's the most natural thing in the world. We can't always make it being a disease, being pregnant. No, it's not. A baby being pregnant, having a baby is just nature. And it's important that at the end, over 90% will deliver normally and that's something which always have to be mentioned in antenatal classes. Yes, go to antenatal classes, but be a bit careful what people tell you when they had their babies, because sometimes you can't see into their persons, personalities, you can't see in the situation. So don't always believe what you hear. Antenatal classes are antenatally and not postnatally. Yeah, so I would say just inform you a bit by yourself, write down the questions and ask, ask, ask what you can, that you really have a good feeling if you attend the class, that you have finished the class and that you're really ready for your labor and birth to experience a nice time. Like I mentioned before, antenatal classes start sometimes quite late, so it is rather late to just get informed at the very time. Ask your questions at the very time you're pregnant, because all the professionals whoever is involved in pregnancy and labor or postnatal periods. Is it your midwife, the nurse, the health professional? They're more than happy to answer your questions. So come and ask before you even start the antenatal class. The antenatal class is the most important part because it really intensifies your knowledge. But be aware that there are lots of questions which come along already at 10 weeks, 20 weeks and before 32 weeks see us. We're more than happy to talk to you.